Hi, I'm August Bryce with Tech Wellness, and um, this is the third in four videos that we're doing on things that you can find in or on, in this particular case, the baby's room that are wireless. Now, we did a video on how to create a wired baby monitor, and several people wrote in asking us to test different things, and this is one of them. This is the Owlet. This is a wearable baby monitor that gives you real-time readings of heart rate and oxygen levels, and it's probably gonna have some wireless radiation, so we're gonna check it out today. So this is an outlet baby monitor, your baby's health and well-being at a glance. Now this is kind of confusing because it says it's powered by clinically proven technology, which some people might read as safe. What it's saying is that the pulse oximetry technology that's used in the sock to measure baby's oxygen saturation and heartbeat is clinically proven. It is not saying that the Bluetooth radiation coming from the sock is clinically proven to be safe. And what we're gonna be really looking at today is the smart sock that goes on the baby's ankle. We're gonna look at that little connection and find out how much RF radiation there is. Ooh, okay. So that's the base station and that is the baby sock. The presentation is lovely. Okay, that's so dang cute, is it not? And that looks like a little baby plate, okay. Lots of points for design. So you don't get video with the Outlet Baby Monitor. Instead, it's designed to give you alerts on your phone about the baby's heartbeat and oxygen. To know, oh, pretty fast, yes. There's no reading, so I'll turn this off. Uh-oh, okay, stop, placement, please, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Oh. I just did a test of red. Low oxygen levels detected, wow. Alec reminds us that this is not a medical device, but there are reviews online from parents of Niku babies or babies with health problems that say they feel really good about using this monitor. There's a mobile app compatible with iOS 9 or later, but to use the app, you have to be connected via Wi-Fi so that you can get alerts on your phone. Now I had to give them my email had to give a phone number, and now they're asking as we sign up for the app, look at this. Okay, they wanna know the name of my baby, my baby's Alec, and now look at this. It wants to know my relationship to the baby. Is it my biological child? Well, I certainly want Alec to know. I want them to know everything. I mean, this is crazy. Okay, but with this app, just like any other app that's connected to the cloud, there's privacy and security issues too. And I'm using my stylus because normally I'm wired to the internet, even when I'm using my phone with my cool little wired hack. But I can't be because you have to be on Wi-Fi and you have to have the outlet connected to your Wi-Fi. That's the only way it will work. You have to both be on the same Wi-Fi. Okay, so if you got the Wi-Fi on, you've got the, both the Wi-Fi radiation and Bluetooth radiation, and they're a little bit different even though they're detected by the same meter, I feel the energy from both. I'm much more sensitive to Wi-Fi radiation. So if you have to use the outlet and subject your baby directly to that Bluetooth radiation attached to their body, I hope you'll consider at least not adding Wi-Fi radiation on top of it. Just use the base station. Either way, in order to get heart rate and oxygen readings, the outlet sock powered by that Bluetooth radiation has to be on your baby's foot. I'm going to walk away from the base station, away from the Wi-Fi, which is over there, and I'm gonna to try to get far enough away from it so that I can very, very clearly find out what we're getting just from the actual sock that will be on the baby's ankle and 30 feet away from the base station of the outlet. The outlet sock is on my hand. I wanna show you what happens. Radiation levels are always strongest at the source, even if it's low power Bluetooth wireless radiation. It's always best to put distance between you and any source of EMF radiation. Radio frequency radiation has a biological effect. It doesn't mean that everyone's gonna get sick, but it does mean that it's affecting you in some way or affecting the baby in some way. And at Tech Wellness, we recommend the precautionary principle, which basically is, since we don't have enough research yet to prove what a safe level of EMF radiation exposure is, 
It's better to be safe and avoid that exposure whenever we can. If you'd like to know more about EMF radiation in particular and about EMF, please visit techwellness.com. I'm August Rice, and as I say on all these videos, be well. Thank you.